After many years, Li Mei makes her return in Mortal Kombat 1, so it's only right that I give you guys a beginner guide to her combos. Like many other characters in the beta, man, they have multiple strings that can lead to pop-ups, but Li Mei realistically only has one combo string that can give her a guaranteed meterless launcher. Kick precision is forward circle X or forward 4-3, and this will actually start low into a mid and give you that pop-up. So forward 4-3. It starts low, and then you get a pop-up from it. And this combo string also has some 50-50s attached to it, and we'll get into that later. Another great combo string for Lee Mei is her Seasoned Warrior. Seasoned Warrior is a great combo string because this will allow Lee Mei to connect those launchers. So forward 4-3, and then 2-1, triangle square. Forward 4-3 triangle square we get that connection lee may has two great combo enders which are chain reaction which is back forward four or back forward circle as well as her Fu tank special move which is down back three or down back x so whenever you get a combo you best believe to end it in chain reaction or you can end it in the Fu tank special move and the Fu tank special move just looks so damn cool man it's also a great anti-air option as well, so keep that in mind. But the range on this man is ridiculous, and not to mention it is armored. So you can get through projectiles for that extra damage, and it's a great wake-up tool as well. So if we put it all together, it should look like this. Now that we understand the basic premise of her combo routes, you have to take a look at her aerial attacks. So she has the four freedom combo string, which is probably the best aerial attack for her. And this combo string is just one, three, four or square X circle. So once you get the launcher, square X circle right in the air. So you're going to get that connection and already we're at 22%. Four, four, three, square X circle. Just like that. I also want to note that Lee Mei has a great projectile. Now it is a high, so the opponent can duck, but at least it's an honest projectile. And the coolest thing about her projectile is that when you amplify it, you actually get a launcher. So you can see right here, you get a pop-up. And not only can Lee Mei do it on the ground, but she can do this in the air as well. So with that knowledge, we'll go into our combo string and end in the air fireball. But like I said before, if you amplify it, you actually get a launcher and this will send the opponent back to you. So now that you see it all connected, you can start to see the vision with her combo potential. So now we can end the combo string with her chain reaction special move. This right here is a truly May BNB combo that you should all know. You should all learn that right away because this leads me to the next part, which is the lantern. So Lee May has a lantern that she throws into the sky. The lantern acts as a bomb. So if you think of Cyrax, for example, and how he has his air bombs, it's essentially the same thing. Lee May's game plan is to always have this lantern on the screen. If you don't have the lantern on the screen, you might as well just not even play Lee May. This makes Lee May so dangerous. Lee May controls the skies when she has this lantern on the screen. You cannot jump. You just have to wait. You have to play patient. Don't jump, try to walk in, try to avoid it because you don't want to get popped up for a combo. Because the startup isn't the fastest, how do we set the lantern up? For this example, we'll use Frost because Frost has the low slide so she will freeze the opponent in place. Now realistically, if you hit him with that, you can always set it up right after. You'll always have time when you're full screen. But let's get this in a combo, right? So I freeze them and now I am free to put the lantern in the air. So we're going to freeze them with Frost and now I have all the time in the world to get the lantern set up. So this is where the set play comes in because once I get this active, I call it in and now I go for my combo. And this is going to send them back onto the lantern. And because you get another pop up from the lantern once they land back on it, this actually gives you enough time to toss another lantern. We're going to get this set up into our full confirm. Now Lee May starting to cook. So if you remember from earlier, I said remember this because now we're going to talk about the 50-50 options with Lee May. There are so many ways to get that sequence going, but a great 50-50 option for Lee May is her lion tail combo string. So the forward 4-4 four, four, or forward circle circle will actually end in an overhead. So once you start conditioning them with that overhead... Now we're going to get creative and we're going to call in the frost cameo for that low. So now we can mix, get our setup and go for that same exact combo. Going to get the mix, lantern in the air. One, how about two, 
and then we're gonna end it just just for some extra sauce right and let's say if you don't get a confirm off the ford for three you could always just cancel into the ex fireball to get a launcher into another combo and one thing that's pretty cool about the lantern is you can actually shoot it down to get that launcher as well so this will actually knock the lantern down to the opponent and pop them up for a combo lee may is the type of character that will have on the fly combos and real quick, let me just show you how creative Lee Mei can get in the corner. You can do stuff like that. As far as her combos, though, for a beginner level, I'm going to end it there. I will leave you guys with some of the combos that I came up with for Lee Mei. So I hope this video was helpful, man. Let me know in the comments what you think of Lee Mei so far. I hope you guys have been enjoying the beta if you are playing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, bro. Peace.